No backup plans or exotic Titan gauntlets introduced in Season of the Lost. And if you are a shotgun loving Titan, then these are the exotic gauntlets for you. Well today I'm going to have a look at no backup plans, look at how to get them and then put together a Titan PvE build. So you can run in there up close and personal with a bunch of enemies and send them packing with a shotgun to the face. Well if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of the viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well first of all, let's check out the exotic armour, no backup plans. And no backup plans are exotic Titan gauntlets, and they come with the perk Force Multiplier. So when you've got full melee energy, shotgun final blows activate your defensive strike and consume your melee energy. And shotgun final blows also give you melee energy too. So these exotics are really good for getting up in the face of enemies, and if you're a Titan who likes shotguns, you're definitely going to enjoy these. Well next up, let's have a look at how to get no backup plans in Destiny 2. So to get no backup plans, it's one of the new exotic pieces of armour introduced in Season of the Lost, and that is Season 15. So previous to Beyond Light and these newer pieces of armour being introduced, exotic armour was acquired at random through exotic engrams or campaign story content. Well now you've got a way to target farm exotic pieces of armour through Legend and Master Lost Sectors. If you complete these activities solo, then there's a chance for the exotic armour to drop for you. Where every day the Legend and the Master Lost Sectors rotate, with two available each day across the planets and the moons. So as well as the location for the Legend and the Master Lost Sectors rotating, the rewards rotate too with different armour pieces for the head, the arms, the chest and the legs every day. So if you want to check out the location and the rewards then you can do so in-game by completing the Lost Sectors on the regular difficulty and then you can check on the map. Well the Legend and the Master Lost Sectors are indicated as a blue shield icon but also another good way to check them out is a tool or a website called todayindestiny.com. Really, really like this website. I almost check it daily. It's really, really good. It gives you all the information that you need for that day in Destiny. So that is todayindestiny.com. And shout out to the creators of that website. And that is going to quickly tell you what the location is and also what the reward is too. Well, to get no backup plans, you want to look out for the exotic arms reward, and then if you complete the legend or the Master Lost Sector solo, you'll have a chance for the exotic gauntlets to drop for you. And if you don't get it the first time, keep trying, and you'll definitely get it after a few tries. Well, next up, let's have a look at creating a no backup plans Titan PvE build. And this one is a build for those who like to get up close and personal with their enemies. I'm going to be using a combination of subclass, weapons and mods to get you up and running meaning you're going to be able to get in the face of enemies and dispose of them really quickly with a few short blasts of your shotgun. Well, first of all, let's check out the subclass. So I'm using Top Tree Sentinel, and that is a Void Titan build. So this is Code of the Protector. And first of all, we've got Defensive Strike. So defeating an enemy with this melee ability creates an overshield around you and nearby allies. And Final Blows grant melee energy when this overshield is active. Then you've got Rallying Force, so melee kills restore health for you and nearby allies. And then we've got Turn the Tide, so your overshield from Defensive Strike lasts longer and increases melee damage and reload speed. Finally, we've got Ward of Dawn, so when super energy is full, create an indestructible dome to protect you and your allies as well. And passing through the Ward of Dawn grants you and your allies a temporary increase to weapon damage. Well, the main perk that we're leaning into here is Defensive Strike. So that works really well with no backup plans and also Force Multiplier. So when you have full melee energy and you get a shotgun final blow, then Defensive Strike is going to be activated. Well, next up, let's have a look at the weapons. So first of all, in the Kinetic slot, I'm using the Shotgun Fractathist, and that is a legendary Kinetic Shotgun. It deals stasis damage, plus it has a precision frame. And you can get this one from the Astral Alignment activity in Season 15. Also, I've got one with Trench Barrel, and it works really well with the melee nature of the build, as when I run in there and get a melee hit, you follow up with a Shotgun Blast, and that's going to give you even more damage for a short time, plus it's also going to trigger Rallying Force on your subclass if you get that melee kill. In the Energy slot, I'm using Bottom Dollar. That is a Void Energy 120 hand cannon. So Void is really important here, because I'm going to be wanting to use the same energy type as my subclass to get the benefit of the Elemental Well mods. And I'll go into that in a few minutes. So finally, I'm using Tractor Cannon. This is an exotic power shotgun. And we've got some perks here. So we've got Repulsor Force. 
So this weapon emits a powerful impulse that pushes enemies away, suppresses their abilities and makes them more vulnerable to all incoming damage. Then we got the scientific method, so damaging an opponent temporarily increases speed and handling. So this weapon is absolutely great in two ways. You're doubling up on the shotguns here in the power and the kinetic slot. Plus also it's a void weapon too. That's going to work really well with elemental well mods. It's also going to work great with force multiplier on the no backup plans, giving melee energy and activating your defensive strike. Well finally today, let's have a look at the mods. So first of all, I'm using elemental armaments. So kills with a weapon of the same energy type as your subclass spawn elemental wells. Then I'm using Elemental Ordnance, so defeating and combating with a grenade spawns an Elemental Well that matches a subclass energy type. I'm also using Font of Wisdom, so picking up an Elemental Well gives you a boost to Intellect, meaning your super respawns much faster. I'm also using Melee Wellmaker, so powered melee final blows spawn Elemental Wells, matching your subclass element type. Well, the main point of this build is to get in there with a shotgun, take out enemies, and hopefully your overshield is going to help you out with that close range combat. And given We've got two shotguns here, it's really going to help, and I forgot how hilarious it is to boop enemies off a cliff with the tractor cannon. So no backup plans aren't going to change the way that Titans play, you know, not in the same way that Curious of the Falling Star did in the past. However, if you like playing as a Titan with a shotgun already, then these are the exotic gauntlets for you. you know, it does make PvE content a whole load of fun, running in there with a shotgun and picking off as many enemies as possible, and given you've got that overshield up all the time, you're going to be killing a lot of enemies. Well, let me know down there in the comments what you think of no backup plans, and also share your builds in the comments with the community. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get no backup plans in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. feeding cycle to a god of war. Even this, battling to free Savathun from her worm, I fear we starve one threat to feed another. And yet I have no better solution. I just have hope. And that is, perhaps, the greatest terror of them all.